Okay, in this last video, we, you know, I, that I made at least, I don't know what order you're looking at these in. Um, in the last video, we looked at um, three vectors. And we saw how to do a few things with three vectors. Um, but most of the things we can do with three vectors are just, you, you know, things that you can do with two vectors, do, doing it over and over again. And I think that's what we did last time, is we just did a lot of things that we could have done with two vectors. Um, but instead, we use multiple vectors most of the time just to um, show some of the ways that things um, interact with each other. Um, most notably, I think, um, order of operations. I think that was uh, pretty important. It's very important to follow order of operations and stuff like that. Um, in this case, we don't have to worry about the order of operations because um, we just have these two vectors. Everything we're going to do is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Um, so what I just want to do here is um, sort of explore these relationships that exist between um, any two vectors. So just the sort of things that we can say about one vector or the other vector in terms of that other vector. Um, which I think is a perfectly reasonable thing to uh, to do if, you know, you want to talk about vectors. And I know you do want to talk about vectors because I mean, that's the whole reason why you're here, is that you know exactly how cool vectors are and how amazing it is that you'll be able to talk about these things, you know, with your friends, with your family, uh, with, you know, people you meet at bars. I mean, everybody loves vectors. So let's see what's going on with um, these guys. This first vector, if I just draw them out, is at 5, you know, somewhere out here. And... Um, minus 3, somewhere out here, right? And then we have to go up 4, so that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, so his end is there. I guess and his beginning is there. Beginning and end and a little hat, a little pointy hat, and that makes a vector. All right. And um, then we can do the same thing for W. So W is minus 1 and 1, and then you come all the way up here. So maybe it's better to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go minus 1 and 1 over. And draw out this wonderful vector W. Okay, and so maybe we can use this to um, tell us what sort of things we can talk about between two vectors. I think probably the most interesting thing is going to be this angle. We can figure out this relationship between them, right? Um, so let's just write that down. Remember that for later. Find the angle between the vectors. That's pretty good. So we got that guy. Uh, what else can we talk about? Well, I mean, we can see, okay, there's a perpendicular line there. So we can um, sort of see how much of the V, v um, vector V is in the same direction as the vector W, right? So we call that the component of V um, in the direction W, right? Um, and, you know, it's just this size here, um, and it's just like saying, okay, well, what is the component of V in the X direction, right? We're doing that same thing. We're trying to figure out what this length is. If it was V in the X direction, it would be that thing. Um, but we're not talking about V. We're not talking about the X direction. We're talking about the W direction. And we could also um, find a little vector there. So let's do it this way as well. We could have a vector from here pointing um, that way, which says how much of W is pointing in the same direction of V. That's called the projection of W on the V, direct, v direction. Well, we could write these different ways. So this is the component of V in the W direction, and the projection is the component of W in the V direction multiplied by the V direction. All right. The little hat just means direction of the unit vector in the V, v um, in the same direction as v. So let's just answer this and um, be happy, right? We're really happy when we've got an answer. So cosine theta, 
Um, the way we find cosine, cosine theta is take the dot product of V and W, divide it by V, divide it by W, um, the magnitudes of each, and um, and that's what we that's really all we need to do. So best thing to do is just find these three um, find these three uh, numbers, right? Uh, let's see, what sort of number would I like to look at? This V dot W, which is V, which is 5 meters minus 3 meters, 4 meters dot this W, which is minus 1 meter, 1 meter, 5 meters, right? Um, and we get to do that whole dot product thing that you, that I'm sure by now you love which is, in this case, 5 times negative 1, which is minus 5 square meters, minus 3 times 1, which is minus 3 square meters, 4 times 5, which is 20 square meters, multiply and add, multiply and add, multiply and add. And then you do all that wonderful stuff, you add that all up, you end up with 12 square meters. Okay? Um, and then the um, the magnitude of V, just the, um, you, you come through here and you just add the squares and then take the square root. So that's 25 square meters plus 9 square meters plus 16 square meters. That's 25 plus 25, that's, um, that's 50. The square root of 50 is, um, 5 times the square root of 2, and that's meters. And W, we do the same thing for, that's 1 square meter plus 1 square meter plus 5 times 5 is 25 square meters. And that ends up being 27, which is 9 times 3, so we have 3 times the square root of 3 meters. So those are the things we have to work with. In this case, um, we've got this 12 meters squared over... 5 root 2 times 3 root 3, which we like to call 12 over 15 root 6. Okay, and that's a number, so you have to play with your calculator, and your calculator is going to tell you that it's 0 0.3265. You're doing okay. Aren't you happy? I know you're happy. Yeah. I, how could you not be happy doing what you're doing? Um, and to finish up, we find the angle theta. Right, um, and that's the arc cosine, uh, uh, the inverse cosine, blah blah blah. Zero point three two six five. Zero point three two six five, which is, you will find from the calculator, something on the order of um, seventy one degrees. That, that's sufficient. Seventy one degrees. All right. So B, we want to find this um, projection, right? And, or the component, right? Okay, so we have the component of V in the direction of W. Right? That seems good to me. Um, how do we find that? Well, we have V dot W over W. That's what they have in your, um, that's what they have in your book. That, that's what it is. The dot product divided by the um, magnitude of the direction that you're interested in. So that's 12 square meters over um, 3 root 3 meters, which is equal to 4 over root 3 meters, right? Um, or 4 root 3 over 3 meters. However you like it, that's how it works out. Nice and simple. Uh, stuff you can um, tell your grandkids, right? Oh, that time that I was in... Um, that I, that I was in the math methods class. Oh, I did the, found the component of V in the direction of W, oh. We want the component of W in the direction of V, so. Up. See, I got that all screwed up. That's why you need to practice your stories. All right, so. What do we have for that? Um, v dot W, okay, V dot W is 12 meters, 12 square meters, we said. V dot V is just the square of this, which is um, 50 square meters. 
and v is this vector up here, 5 minus 3, 4. So 5 meters in the x direction, minus 3 meters in the y direction, plus 4 meters in the z direction. Okay? And so we go through and we figure out what these things are. Okay, we divide, we um, cancel out the 5 and the 5. We are st stuck with, um, what, 12 over 10. 12 over 10 is, a, ah, that's way too hard for me. Um, but I'll say that's 1.2 meters in the um, x direction, okay? And then 3, um, we have this minus sign that stays there, 3 times 12, that's um, 46, no, 36 over 50, um, so that's 0 0.72 meters in the y direction. And then we have um, 4 times 12 is 48, right? Um, so 48 times 2 is 0 0.96 meters in the z direction, okay? So I think that's um, going to work out reasonably well for us all. Um, so if, if you concur, and I'm sure you do. Uh, I think we're we're done with what we need to do in in this um, problem. We've got three relationships of things, uh, all things we can do with the cross product or the dot product. Next time we'll do the cross product. Next section is the cross product, and the cross product can give us some more um, relationships. Most importantly, uh, probably the only one that we really care about, well, is that it'll be able to tell us which way is perpendicular to V and W, right? which will be really nice, don't you think? Um, so that's where we are now. We'll be somewhere else in the future. Um, but uh, I, I think we're all right, and I'll see you a bit later. All right?